Today, we are talking about something both fascinating and a little concerning, especially if you have been prescribed metformin for an extended period. Yep, we are tackling the question, what happens if you take metformin for more than five years? Here's the thing, the longer you are on a medication like metformin, the more important it becomes to pause and assess. Is it still working for you? Are you noticing changes in your body? Sometimes even small symptoms can point to larger issues that are totally preventable with a quick checkup and some tweaks. Now, before we jump in, I just want to make this clear. It is mostly effective and safe, but like with every long-term medication, there are things you need to watch out for. And trust me, some of what I'm going to talk about or share today might make you want to pick up the phone, and schedule the next blood test, or start making some changes in your life. I will give some great tips. All right, let's start with a big one. Vitamin B12 deficiency. Over time, metformin can interfere with your body's ability to absorb vitamin B12. This isn't just a small issue because vitamin B12 is critical for your nerve function and red blood cell production and overall energy levels. If you have been recently feeling tired or foggy or even experiencing some tingling or numbness in your hands and feet, this might be a clue. The solution, consider incorporating a B12 supplement into your routine. A good option is taking 5,000 micrograms a few times a week, particularly in solution form for better absorption. These liquid supplements are easy to use and can help maintain healthy B12 levels, supporting your energy levels, nerve health, and overall well-being. Now, Always, of course, consult with your provider to make sure that your B12 is not already high if you are taking B12 supplements already, or when you are starting a new supplement, you want to sometimes make sure that you are checking your B12 levels. Next up, kidney health. Well, I would say before we move further, I want you to know that for a comprehensive summary of this video, including all the tips and recommendations that I'm going to discuss, you can find this and download the PDF file link in the pinned comment below or in the description of this video. Taking metformin for years requires regular monitoring of your kidney function. Why? Well, metformin is excreted through the kidneys, and if they're not functioning properly, the medication can accumulate in your system, potentially causing a rare but serious condition called lactic acidosis. Also, some studies suggest that prolonged use of metformin could possibly directly impact kidney health, raising concerns about potential damage over time. Now, to support your kidneys while taking metformin, consider incorporating specific supplements into your routine. For example, probiotics. With a daily intake of 100 billion of probiotics, it could be in a food or it could be in a supplement, can help maintain a healthy gut and support your overall metabolic health. Adding alpha-lipoic acid, for example, at least at 600 mg per day or 300 mg of benfetiamine may provide that antioxidant benefits for your kidneys and help protect your kidneys from oxidative stress, which can be a great deal for your kidneys. Lastly, a high-quality B-complex vitamin can further support your cellular health and energy production, making it a well-rounded approach to maintain the kidney health. Now, that's why we have SugarMD Kidney Support that we have actually compiled all of these supplements, all of these vitamins into one. Now, here's something that might not already be on your mind, the liver health. While not as common, there are reports suggesting that prolonged use of metformin might actually stress the liver in certain individuals. So if you already have liver issues or you're a heavy drinker, there is something to flag early with your doctor, right? One natural option that may support your liver health is milk thistle. Typically, we recommend around 1,000 milligrams of milk thistle. This herbal supplement has been used for centuries to protect and detoxify the liver thanks to its active compound silymarin. Silymarin is believed to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, and studies support that. Compound will reduce the liver stress and promote the regeneration of your liver cells. Peripheral neuropathy is another issue that actually ties back 
to the vitamin B12 deficiency we talked about earlier. Long-term metformin use may exacerbate the nerve issues in people who are already diabetic, and that's a double trouble, right? Imagine walking around with pins and needles in your feet every day. That's not fun and definitely worth monitoring. To support your nerve health, again, alpha-lipoic acid will help you, benfotiamine will help you in your daily regimen. You can pair these with vitamin B12 and L-carnitine for a synergistic effect that can alleviate that nerve discomfort and protect nerve function. If you're in severe, severe pain, you may sometimes need medication, so it's always important to consult with your doctor as well. Make sure that you check your feet all the time, at least a couple of times a week. Make sure that you don't have any lesions, because when you have neuropathy, you may develop lesions or ulcers that may progress rapidly that can lead to amputation, and that's not what we want to see. Something that catches people off guard, and that is gastrointestinal symptoms, right? So it may develop in the early days of metformin, but sometimes it happens years down the line. Because sometimes people will say, hey doc, I have diarrhea and I don't know what it is from. When I bring the metformin up, they say, oh, I've been on this for years. Well, that is a problem, right? You have been on this for years. Sometimes it shows up later. Now we are talking about even nausea, diarrhea, abdominal pain, chronic late onset diarrhea. All can happen later. Now early symptoms might improve over time, but Chronic late onset diarrhea can occur unexpectedly after like years of use, significantly impacting your quality of life and nobody will think twice, hey, is this metformin or not? But I'm telling you, it is commonly seen. If you are struggling with any of these issues, including the persistent diarrhea, you know, your doctor may recommend actually switching to extended release metformin if that's what you wanna do. I tell my patients, hey, there are alternative supplements out there like herbal things like berberine and dehydroberberine. But if you cannot afford supplements and you're looking for a free metformin, so to speak, extended release metformin may be a better option to stop the diarrhea at least. But you wanna to talk to someone who knows about holistic medicines. If you just bring the berberine to your allopathic doctor who never heard of about uh, these uh, great herbs and supplements, they may be stunned or shocked and they may totally deny it. So, Always look for a functional medicine doctor or holistic medicine doctor to help your needs. And finally, there's a whole grab bag of less discounted side effects that some people might experience like headache, muscle pain, lightheadedness, unusual sweating, taste changes, and even a rash are among the possibilities. While these side effects are not very common, they can still happen to certain individuals. If you have been brushing off any of these symptoms, as just bah, part of life, it might be worth considering whether metformin could be a contributing factor. For example, lightheadedness could make daily activities feel more challenging, especially at an older age. Like taste changes might actually be subtly affecting your appetite. You may not realize why you're losing so much weight. And believe it or not, there are some type 2 diabetics complaining about too much weight loss after a certain age. Can be a problem. And of course, it's going to affect the enjoyment of food as well. So if any of these seem familiar to you, it is a good idea to reach out to your doctor to discuss what you're experiencing and explore possible alternative solutions. And again, it's important to note that you should never stop taking metformin abruptly without consulting your doctor, unless you are monitoring your blood sugars very carefully and you know what you're doing. But it's always, you know, stopping cold turkey medications are not recommended unless you get an okay from your doctor. If you are considering transitioning to a natural supplement like berberine, which has shown promise and a lot of evidence for helping your blood sugar levels, again, this decision, you can do it yourself if you're confident, but it's best guided with your holistic functional medicine provider. You can also discuss the possibility of lowering the dose of metformin and incorporating, for example, berberine or dehydroberberine. Now, what is dehydroberberine, you will ask? Well, dehydroberberine is a more bioavailable form of berberine that may help reduce some of the gastrointestinal side effects associated with metformin. And actually, dehydroberberine has much less side effects compared to berberine. So, metformin has the most side effects, berberine has much less side effects, dehydroberberine has almost no side effects. So, pretty good deal. Now, this combination of metformin and actually berberine or dehydroberberine 
definitely has synergistic effects. So sometimes all it takes is to lower the metformin dose and add on some berberine or dehydroberberine, and then you're going to get the best of both worlds. And there are studies that actually looked at using metformin and berberine together, and they have great results. And listen, before you panic, because I know this all sounds like a, a lot, but you don't have to go through this alone. Again, work with your doctors, watch our videos, and it is in your hands to protect your kidney function, your liver function, and avoid all the side effects that we talked about. There are also a lot of tools and supplements on our website at sugarmds.com that will help your body become more balanced and benefit in addition to your medications. So metformin remains a popular choice, and I think it will remain a popular choice, but it is important to understand your options and alternative treatments that may better suit your needs. Before you go, watch this video that I talk about dehydroberberine here, and I'll see you in that video.